Welcome back, everybody, to some more Stellaris Reborn. Let's get to it. I'm going to bump the game speed up just a little bit because I know things have been going kind of slow. People are like probably freaking out. Holy crap, we're only 10 years in, like five videos in. We're going to be, it's going to be a long game. But, you know, this is kind of like one of those kind of foot slog games, right? Because the Grand Admiral and such. I mean, we're already at the end game crisis. Technically, the game's already over, so... I don't want to. I don't want to get that. I don't want to get too salty of uh, comments on this. <laughs> so we've got this system finally, finally scanned out, which is good. We're gonna take that real quick. Uh, might be a little bit of a problem. Obviously, his caps here. He's not gonna like that, but you know, I don't really care because I really need to get this under control. I need as many systems as possible. I'm gonna be going kind of tall for my empire build. But I still want to have that room to grow. Uh, to grow a little bit. Just just at least to make me a decent size. To be able to get, you know, some of these systems under control, etc., etc. I think it's going to be important. So, I'm going to grab up those alloys. Those We got already got 41, which is nice because we're not burning through them nearly as fast. Uh, 125. Yeah, I see everybody in the galaxy is obviously using alloys right now. I need a hundred of them. Um, so that's going to require me to get a little bit more energy. And that actually burns all my energy. So that's that. But there you go. So now I control that. And let's go ahead and have automatic expert. No, 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 no. You know what? I've got a better idea. I'm going to have you come research this instead. Instead of this dude, who I'm going to set back to automatic exploration. Because why not? Oh, the monolith has granted me a gift. The monolith has just released a new row of artifacts for our scientists to study. We still do not know the monolith's intention, although our civilization came a long way, but certainly advanced artifacts from the past would be helpful for our other studies. Considering the past records, next release will be a decade later. Wondrous. Okay, so the monolith hasn't punished me so far. I don't know if that's why I'm getting so many artifacts is because of the monolith. If that's the case, that's pretty good. Um... No, okay. It began as a subtle shift in the the who the pliff the pliff plaff. That's such a menacing name. The pliff plaff behavior. Scattered reports of their ships once rarely seen outside their own space now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. So, so, so a fall on a way we have an awakened descendancy by year twenty two ten. This game is progressing rapidly, a lot faster than I thought it would. I mean, end game crisis. Awakened Fallen Empires by year 10. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Well, Giants in the Playground. Uh, tremble, little Bakari Authority. For too long, we Pliff Plaff have allowed our empire to decline. No, the Pliff Plaff. Please, don't Pliff Plaff me. Oh, no. They seek to restore their lost dominion over the galaxy. They are likely to attack any empire that will not acknowledge their overlordship. Well, uh, um... Greetings to you. Okay. Is this them? Who are you? This is them. <sighs> they want to subjugate everybody. <sighs> and I'm not going to do that. And they're probably not going to trade with me. So they're far enough away and, and uh, in another spiral, they'll probably leave me alone. Maybe they'll fight the unbidden and, and stuff. I'm hoping they'll just leave me alone. Suspicious. Have we, we've never gotten, never gotten any uh, improved relations because the unbidden. Oh no, we are picking up a strong subspace signal washing over the galaxy. Its point of origin appears to be the contacts approaching from intergalactic space. I 
don't understand what I've done to deserve this. This is going to be a very chaotic game. Oh, God, why? Prothorian swarm already? Several outlying systems along the Galactic Rim are being overrun by some sort of invasion force. I'm on the Galactic Rim. This appears to have been the source of the subspace echoes we detected approaching our galaxy. What we are inc encountering now is only the Vanguard. The main body of contacts is yet to arrive. Reports have so far been confused, but the ships used by the invaders appear organic in nature and do not respond to hails. Uh, okay. Well, they might get wiped out, but I guess it depends on who else comes into this this galaxy. Ah, back to negative minerals for now. All right. Despite the massive progress that has been made over the last few centuries, there are some illnesses that the best Rakarian doctors cannot heal. It is Lord Sabat's misfortune to have been diagnosed with one such a disease. The doctors are stumped by the sudden onset of their rare degenerative brain condition, which has left them with mere months left to live. There are, however, societies so advanced that they would be a miracle to our people is a commonplace fact of life there. Societies where even diseases such as these are extinct. However, drawing their attention upon oneself can be risky, for their mood is unpredictable and their wrath terrible. Nevertheless, perhaps the ancients would be willing to save Sabouts if offered the right price. The Dar, it is better to die a natural death. He'll die soon. I guess we'll approach them. Is that these guys? Oh boy. They might awaken soon. They're custodians. So they shouldn't be too bad for us. Can I take a look at the situation log real quick? I just need to find out if... Okay. Boy. Okay, somebody is heading to research that. And I'm assuming at some point these as well. Oh, he's actually heading to do that, so you're still just chilling. Well, I guess go explore. Construction complete. I'm not going to build more science ships. Okay. Organic request for help received. Custodian protocol activated. Message falls. All organics should be helped by us. Send the patient to our worlds, and we will await any response. Oh, boy. Well, whatever. We'll take the risk. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Okay, these two tech worlds here, by the way, they've they've constructed these areas. we got three more jobs available on both of these. So let's get some people moved right now. We'll go ahead and do that. And it's three, so we're going to send three here, like so. And then we got Rock World, and we'll send three to Rock World. Oh, yeah. The difference that should make is going to be astounding. I feel. Stability's at 10%, crime's at 17%, so yeah. What? Alarming reports of mass disappearances among the galaxy's synthetic population are becoming more and more frequent. Uh, okay. Because that's what we need right now is a robot uprising just to really spice things up. Your ruler is cured of their ills. They will be free to live out the rest of their life on our sanctuary. Well. Unfortunate. Okay, so he's going to be on the sanctuary, which means I need a new ruler. I don't have the influence. What are my options, though? Grow economy, energy credits from jobs, ship build, ship upkeep, ship build, ship build. Wow, I'd like the energy credits, honestly. If I could be real. Where are you going? I don't need you to do that. I'd actually rather you build a mining station here. So go ahead and enter that orbit. I lied. As I usually do. No, I didn't. You're going to enter orbit and you're going to head here because we're going to claim these two areas. Especially because I have this one final planet I can take. 
Oh, of course, because why not? The return of the Plif Plaf to the galactic scene is not gone unnoticed by the other fallen empires present in our galaxy. The Dis, in particular, appeared more agitated than the news. It seems that these two proud nations are ancient rivals. Here's the uh, war in heaven. And though the reasons for the rivalry has long since faded into history, the sudden reawakening of the Plif Plaf reclaimers has inflamed old animosities and triggered a counter-reaction. The Dis Crusaders have roused themselves from their slumber to face their old rivals with the whole galaxy as their battleground. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight that either. So they are doctrinal enforcers. All right. So their relations actually, because this wise spiritualist will help us. All right. Where are they? They're here. Oh god, these guys are expanding. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's something here that gives them construction complete. I can't see it. Yes, I can. They have a Dyson sphere. Oh my god. Oh, they're actually fairly close. The aborted terraforming process has finally been completed after seeding the atmosphere with billions of terraforming nanites. The alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the moon's surface. The ecosystem and climate have both stabilized, and a new alien biota adapted to this climate has been introduced. All right. Well, at least people didn't die, like in my previous playthrough, so that's kind of cool. And we'll take a look at that new leader. Uh, yeah. I'm okay with what this is. I guess. Looks fine to me. I need to build some buildings here. Especially because population's going up. I'm going to build some amenities maybe. I, I don't have consumer goods though. So it seems kind of silly. A temple. Um, 263. Yeah, I want some civilian industries. 263 is what I'm lacking. It's 340. 340. That should do it. Oh, I can upgrade these. More housing amenities and colonist jobs. Let's just do the... Well, how much is it to upgrade? 510. So I can only upgrade one of them. All right, I'm going to do the civilian industries on both of these. Because it's going to give me jobs. I've got housing already here so I can move people. And I really got to get... Consumer goods is almost in the positive. I really want to get it there. Okay. Okay. Ship designer hobby. So this is our ruler here. Lord ruling from Kodra. He's got the destroyer focus. Starbase stuff. Ship designer. Ruler level three. So he's mainly a ship guy. I guess that's fine. Got these rivalries here. And this combat, which continues to rage on. With the asteroid getting closer to losing. Luckily, this is over here and not over here. May not be a bad idea, actually, for me to build some more ships. Like I said, I was going to. Minerals is back in the positives. It coasted negative there for a bit. Oh, I could upgrade these. I forgot about that. I should get a lot of minerals now. What? A new faction is recently beginning traction in the internal political landscape of the Rakari Authority led by scientists. They call themselves the Union of the High Priesthood. And we got the United as One Party and the Knights of the Void. Okay. Guess we'll see where those take us. Hopefully not in the wrong direction, but I can't make any promises. 
Diplomatic weight, envoy improve relations, envoy harm relations. We're going to go ahead and kick that bad boy back on again. We have one more ruler campaign point, but we can only drop it into exploration incentives, which I'm okay with that. So let's do it. So help with a little bit more exploring, doing other sciencey things. Like these anomalies and these these uh, dig sites we got to do. Shortly after the awakening of one of the falling empires, a long-range sensor have detected that multiple planets within their territory have left their orbits. Massive hidden weapons and thrusters emerge from their crusts, and they have now transformed into fearsome weaponized planetoids. It appears these ancient civilizations had more hidden weaponry th than previously thought. Jesus. Please. Oh wait, these these aren't the so the other the awakened empire are the these guys here. They got a natural wormhole. And then these guys are just spreading, you know, all willy-nilly, unbidden, all willy-nilly. Oh yeah. Ho ho yeah. How you guys feel about me? It's staying there. How do these guys feel? Because they're the ones I'm really worried about. Domineering still. Their opinion is dropping pretty fast. Is my uh, place done here? So I wouldn't mind grabbing some modules at some point. Some different buildings as well. These are going to cost us alloys. They're, they're very cheap. Um, so let's grab some alloys right now. Fifty alloys will actually give me a couple of things here. An orbital power plant. An asteroid mining team actually would do really good here. So let's get an asteroid mining team. And uh space factory. Very expensive for the upkeep. Armor protection adds more armor to the star base. Shield generate adds more shields to the star base. Adds two point defense slots. Um, shipyard anchorage. A gun battery, a missile battery, hangar bay trade hub. I think we definitely want an, a gun battery and a missile battery. And then for buildings. Hydroponics Bay, Resource Silo, a Communication Jammer, Repair Platform, Ship Disruptor, Ship Amplifier. Maybe a Ship Amplifier. All right. There we go. Stuff spent. See how well that helps us. Oh, I got the minerals. Might as well. Oh, yep. He's going for it now. Okay, it is no secret that the Awakened Empires possess many kind of ancient weapons that have laid dormant for millennia, but nobody could predict that one of the Holy Guardian's Holy Worlds wasn't actually a regular world, but rather a gigantic and inactive planet-sized spaceship. And with the recent awakening, this colossal spaceship has reactivated, and the once pristine Gaia world has transformed into a colossal weaponized planet, capable of obliterating anything standing in its way. It seems they are more prepared to defend their faith than we anticipated. Dude, what has this... What are these mods... Why do they exist? We'll conduct these surface scans. We found, okay, translate. So we got the air alien mural, which is, you know, pretty popular. Um, one science ship. Okay, two. I should have a science ship there already. He's already heading out of the system. No, no, no. Go ahead and do that. He wants to go explore. That's understandable. Turn automatic exploration off for him. I've got the other science ship anyways. Wait. Oh, there's two of them here. You go explore. You translate the alien mural. Yes. Why? Okay. There we go. Go ahead and build a mining station there. I'm still fluctuating up here, but not as bad as I was before. What is this? 
Continued analysis of the so-called ghost signals reveal that it is transmitting energy patterns nearly identical to those found in the post-citronic brains used by synthetic beings. It must be assumed that the signal is directly responsible for the mass disappearance and behavioral changes we have been observing in the galaxy's synthetic population. Okay, so we're going to get the um, endgame crisis for the robots, I guess. So that's kind of cool. As long as none of this stuff spawns near me, I'll... I'm okay. Well, I'm not okay with anything happening right now, but I, I can tolerate it. All right, I think we're going to want to build some stuff here. And a bioreactor is probably going to be it. It's 25 food though, but it produces a ton of energy. So I've got this planet here, which has a bunch of food available. The second wave... Coming from where? Okay, it didn't drop on me. No. There we go. Gotta keep the planet under control. What was I doing? I gotta build something here. I was thinking of... Doing some food production simply for the bioreactor. Bioreactor's pretty pretty uh, awesome. Can't do any mining here anyways. This one's just an empty world. These ones I'm definitely going to make like mining worlds essentially. Ooh, they both have jobs available too. So... If I do that, I'll do it all in the same world. So let's just figure out what this world's going to be. It doesn't have anything, so it really should probably do civilian industries stuff. Eventually, I might re rename some of these planets. I usually do that, and if you've ever watched any of my previous playthroughs on Stellaris, you'll notice that eventually I start kind of categorizing planets uh, as like things they do or build. So, for example, this could be like uh, indus uh, industries. Yeah, like an industries planet, and I'll actually call it industries. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. So I'll do uh, alloy foundries here and civilian industries here is what I'll I'll end up doing. And uh, yeah, civilian industries would help with consumer goods. Actually, does this have anything? Not really. Uh, so the very first thing I think I might do here though is make maybe a temple or something that could help with stability. Uh, consumer goods. I don't really want to. I'm trying to get things in the positive. Crime and spawn defensive armies. Stellar Wharf. I don't even know what this is. Supercomputer station. Into administrative caps. Still not worth it. See, I could put. Um, I'm going to do civilian, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do alloy foundries here. I am. I'm going to drop an alloy foundry here. 340. Yep. I'm going to go for it now. And I'll actually grab some more minerals anyways. Because that should get my alloy. It's going to put me back in the negatives a little bit on minerals. But it should get my alloy f my alloy production in the positive. So I can start building some stuff. Oh, And then we're going to move two people to each of these two tech worlds. Damn it. Okay. And I need energy credits for that. And then I've got some extra minerals which I can spend. If I'm going to spend them on anything, I should spend them on building stuff. Um, maybe. Well, he's building there now. Once he's done with that, he can go build there.
Let me... I'm going to move some stuff around. I need the energy anyways if I'm going to move these guys. So we can, we can move two more unemployed there and two more unemployed onto Rock World. Because they have those two, those two areas. But amenities on these two planets aren't looking good. Map the stars, okay. Production targets. So we'll take a look at that. So what can I get for amenities maybe? I think we should get hollow theaters. We'll consume a little bit of our, our consumer goods, but we're starting to get those in the positives. And the, the hollow theaters will really help with amenities on... In fact, we should get hollow theaters on all of our planets, including this one. So what, what are they going to cost me? So I'm just lacking a little bit of minerals. Let's start with our let's start with our home world. Cuz that'll that'll give us more jobs here and as the home world gets better, you can see that the resources are starting to kind of bounce back. So two more entertaining jobs from that. And I've only got 25 unemployed people now. Then, and then we can focus on getting them on the other planets. Oops. I guess it must have moved a lot faster because it really did. It was moving slow because look, our, our ships are right here. So it just like... It just like entered light speed and crashed right into Rock World. Wait a second. Wait a second. They say that there is a rainbow behind every rain cloud. We just freed up four jobs. That's actually not a bad deal. That means that we can move four of our pops to this planet. Maybe letting the asteroid hit would have been a better idea to begin with. I, I know that's a sick way to look at it, but it's actually kind of worked out in our benefit. So now we can move four more of these unemployed there. Kodra is actually starting to look a lot better. And we're back in the positive for minerals on top of that. This is good. This is real good. Science officer Croc Greg, Greg, Greg Nock, or whatever, has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on blah, blah, blah. The text translates or contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of a low tech library. Describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. So it's basically going to just give us some science in that area, and I'm okay with that. Now I want you to go ahead and I guess go here. I've got a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff here that needs to be researched. So go for that. Especially since you've leveled up some. That won't be too bad. Okay, my star base here is still, still kind of being expanded upon too. So the asteroid mining team actually helps small fleet focus, but starbase fortification. We've got um, okay, starbase fortification minus forty percent. So it doesn't help me as much, huh? Small fleet focus, but it produces five minerals. So I can't complain. I need to be careful about. I can drop three more of those. I think I'm gonna put one right here. Oh, man. And then I guess one here and here. I wish it wasn't like that, but it do be like that. Overwhelming. I wonder if I can eventually outrun one of these guys in their fleet power. Um, I want this fleet to merge. How much military power does it have? Five? Five, so military power must have been reduced or not. These guys have 5,000 military power. I'm going to send this fleet to go upgrade. I think they're pretty crappy. How much is it to upgrade? 
Don't have the L I'm gonna send him upgrade anyways, and then I'll just I'll buy the allies if I have to. Oh, oh boy. So I must have some sort of mod that just makes all of the endgame crisis fire. Luckily, that one also doesn't seem to have spawned near me. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't tell me where. Maybe it won't tell me where. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. Yeah, these shortages are really hurting me. Maybe, oh, that's actually what's hurting me. No. No, God, no, please. Why, God, any place but right next to me. Oh, Jesus. This is like, no. Situation log updated. Well. Well, I guess the good thing about this is that it's going to kind of jumpstart the people around me. Maybe the Dar contingency will go beat them up. Maybe it'll they'll kill some of these people and then the Dar contingency will beat them up and I'll be able to expand. I'm not really sure where this is going to go. Who are you? Sapient, we are the Artifician. Long ago, we fought the corruption that which you call the contingency. We thought ourselves... Superior, undefeatable. Time and again, we fought them back. Time and again, they returned, sterilizing worlds and wearing down our mighty fleets. We embarked on a campaign to defeat them once and for all, together with what remained of the biological civilizations of our time. If you are hearing this message, then we have failed. Whatever remains of our great civilization, we bequeath to you, our successors. In your own battle to come, do not make our mistakes. Destroy the Nexus. and this menace once and for all. The future of our galaxy depends on it. Okay. Will do. Who are these people? A ruined ring section. Oh, it's people from this empire. Got a couple of different stuff. They've got a ring there, a gate. Uh, another ruined... Is that what these are then? Is ruined rings? Yeah. They got a lot of them. Boy, wouldn't that be cool? Obliterated. All right. Who are you? Disabled gateway. Okay. Log updated. Um, a little bit farther from me. This one really has me nervous. Somebody might take him out. All right, now the Dar are kicking into effect. Well, that's that's good. That's really good. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Crime's almost a zero. Alloys are almost in the positive. Where's my... Where's my... my uh, there we go. Civilian Industries. Okay. Two more available jobs here because of the alloy foundries. Situation log updated. Okay. Okay, it's all the way up here. All right, good. Most of the asteroids have been laser chiseled with a great precision into the likeness of a small Rakari temple or a large shrine, a shrine to the untold, the great destroyer, the idea of all Rakarian thefts. The temple has been tumbling through the quiet of space for far longer than we have been capable of space flight, which is disturbing at best, terrifying at worst. Naturally, science officer Croc Gregneck urges us to search for more. Okay. Shrine to the old gods, we will not suffer this heresy. To raise the shrine. No, yeah, then it'll look like we shall go. Situation log updated. These are going to probably be in areas we can't get to, but we'll take a look. Oh. Handy. Very handy. Is 
So there should be a shrine here. Looks like he's maybe on it now. No, that's being surveyed? I'm not sure. No, I could, that's a construction ship. Unknown orders. What are you do? Oh, that's a, that's a, oh, that's an enemy science ship. My bad. Yeah, the construction ship I have here, I wanted to build a star base here. I need alloys to do that, so we're going to get ourselves some alloys right now. But we want this. Oh, no, the star base. Sorry. Yeah, because we definitely want to get those six. Those six minerals. And then if I want to dump more minerals into something, I could build another city district here. Which I should do. And that should do it. I lack 75. I can get 75 more minerals. I can just sell some of this. A little bit more jobs, a little bit more housing for us. Wait, is there... So it said it's in this system. But... Orbiting the star. Enter orbit real quick, see if that... Goes ahead and kicks that on here. No orders. Guess I could have you start doing the excavation sites. Difficulty two, you should be able to do that one with ease, I think. Four thousand, yeah. So, yeah. See, my my fleet was handicapped because I didn't have the minerals to support it. That's why the military power is so low. I know I mentioned that in the last episode. Two hundred and two, still pretty, pretty garbage. I do need to get a leader as well. I had the gale speed guy, but he must have died. That's actually a pretty good one right there. I'm gonna grab that real quick. And did these guys ever, they're preparing for ship upgrades right now. So that means I need to buy some alloys if they're going to do that. Situation okay. Updated. And that last one's over here by the unbidden who is spreading. All right. All right. And I can get two people off the planet. Did I forget to do that? So that's industries, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and move two more people on industries. Yeah, I don't think I did this yet. There we go. There we go. Population's looking better. Stability's looking better. Yeah, definitely handicapped me in the beginning of the game having to deal with that, but I'm feeling a lot better. Relationships actually not looking that bad here with the improved relations. How are these guys feeling? Still rapidly declining. They're definitely going to go to war with us at some point. Now, 2.6k firepower here is actually not bad. And I want to get some defense platforms at some point, but they're pricey. Oh man, a bunch of our edicts are expiring. I can look at them real quick. See, I don't think I can get any of these now. How about down at the bottom with these ones? I don't have any more ruler campaign points.
Uh, enemy from within, awakened empires. When the vanguard of our vagrant fleet settled in the galaxy dozens of years ago, we already realized some fallen empires, which share the similarity of our empire, used to be powerful but fall from heaven. Our initial plan was not to disturb them at all, yet the recent events of Calaganosity has made them believe that we are the one who brought the great danger to this galaxy. Now awakened, they broadcast to every nation of this galaxy, declaring us the enemy to all. Every nation of this galaxy will now turn hostile to us. Why? Why? No. Minus 500 extra galactic danger. No. I've become... I've become the end game crisis for the AI. This game, this is like, this series is like, a, it's like, a, it's awful. It's, it's truly awful. It's just, it's upside down. It's backwards. It makes no sense. That's like the worst thing that could probably have happened. I don't think I could turn that around. The only way I could do is I could maybe throw some food at these guys. I'd have to throw a lot of food. And even then, I think it only caps out at 100. And I'm improving relations with these guys, but yeah, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, I'll have to increase my fleet power. I'm going to have to get... I'm going to have to get creative. I need to get... I need to get a... Um, station up this system here to be able to defend myself. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade that, so that's going to be important. You guys too? No, luckily the Fallen Empires actually aren't mad. Okay, so that might be my saving grace. I could just beef up these two systems, heavily fortify them, and go on the defensive. Well, these guys are supposed to be upgrading. And I kind of need them to do that. So we're going to have to buy some alloys as well. But we'll save all of that for the next episode since we are out of time. Thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.